So, I was just backstage with Helena, and she sort of told me what the night is going to look like tonight, and then she said, you can go on around and come out on the stage. And Scott, a.k.a. Cadillac, was back there and said, no, you got to do the curtain like a drag queen. So I'm going to go back and come back out, just the way they would do it, all right? And you got to be ready for this, and you got to make me feel really good about it, okay? You better work. <laughs> Do I look like Daphne? I don't know how they do it. I don't have cleavage. I don't have any of the talent or any of the skill. But there's a good reason. I mean, it, it feels pretty good because tonight we have lots of folks with lots of talent and lots of skill. You are going to laugh. You're going to be brought in very, very close. You're just going to have a really, really good time tonight. And we're glad you're here. It's kind of rainy and misty and cold and damp on the outside, but it's full of energy and excitement and electricity on the inside. And to get the night started, would you please join me and let's make welcome Mr. Sam Lee. Tyler Hughes, all the way from Big Stone Gap, Virginia, and Deborah Payne, who lives down in Berea. And we're going to dedicate this one to Mamma, just back behind this curtain, and uh, hope that it'll bless her as she gets ready. <laughs> it's a special one about something we both have in common from our backgrounds. Here you go. One, two, one, two. But I'm looking for a day that ain't just giving me a Fun. We've been having all the fun we can stand. 
um, so, well, I'm gonna, you know, country music, we gotta bring you down sometime. We can lift you up for a minute or two. We gotta bring you down sometime. So this is a, a, a true story that um, I read back in 2011. A wonderful writer who lives down in Berea, Jason Howard, wrote a piece about a coal miner from West Virginia. His name is Sam Williams. And um, so this is his story in a song. I think he's really resilient, um, amazingly brave man. This is called Angry Brothers. <laughs> Just the same as you Another time, another day I'm sure the good Lord took his time Made each of us just this way I walked beside you step by step And it never crossed my mind That I would grow up one of a different kind that didn't stop me from chopping the wood Scraping my knees like all boys should Going down to the creek in the noonday sun Bringing out my shirt when the work got done First things first, I'm a blue collar man With scars on my knuckles, dust on my hands You probably wouldn't have ever known I've got a man waiting on me at home Got found out, word got around I got made out for something I'm not Called everything but a child of God Didn't mind to show it out in the parking lot So I cut my coal with my head hung down Just like a stranger in my hometown I got bitter day by day Went home every night with the mess they made such as this, I will say that um, I, that song is based on a true story and the interesting thing about um, how Sam Williams' fellow miners found out that he was gay was because he kept on running into miners that he worked with at the gay bar in Charleston. <laughs> so, I mean, you could just imagine. Uh, yeah, I guess that's how homophobia gets uh, perpetuated, isn't it? <laughs> but um, what else was I going to say? But well, we're going to do another one. Um, I was really fortunate to record um, an album titled Ain't We Brothers, um, working with an amazing musician who's really one of my sheroes and just an amazing um, activist and writer and, and musician, uh, Kathy Fink. And so this is another one from that record. 
and it's called My Dixie Darling. It's a duet with me and old T Todd over here. <laughs> He's going, he's going to give me a hill all the way home, but I'm going to pick on him a little bit. One, two, three, four. folks um, that we know and love and especially to be here with our friend Ms. Helena um, who is a legend and uh, we're just really proud to call her a friend and um, I mean not only is you know you trust somebody when they're your hairdresser also. You know, that's, like, that's, a deep, that's a deep trust not only are we very close friends but you know that, that trust is there also and uh, so I wrote this song back in June. Tyler and I played at a Pride Festival in Pensacola, Florida. And while we were sleeping in our hotel room that night, um, the, the shooting at the uh, Pulse nightclub in Orlando happened. And, you know, I just, I keep thinking about this all the time, that that could have been here, it could have been where we were in the little park where we played that day. Um, and so I, we were riding home and listening to all these news reports. And, you know, I'm sure like many of you were just in disbelief and shock. And so um, I eventually started scrawling this song down on the back of an envelope um, while I was driving, which I, I do this a lot and I really, I shouldn't tell people that I do. But, uh, so, but this is to honor um, the, the folks that were there that night and their families. And this is called Pulse.
a pulse is a heartbeat by this we are united we will love one another we refuse to be divided in our hurting and our grieving we will strive to understand that a pulse is a heartbeat feel it in my hand though we may be different and injustice rages round we can reach toward compassion in each action thought and sound all this hate can be unraveled when we work and when we pray our hope will not be silent we will voice it every day a pulse is a heartbeat by this we are united we will love one another we refuse to be divided in our hurting and our grieving we will strive to understand that a pulse is a heart feeling in my head sadness and it pains us to the bone we must draw close together let no one feel alone we will nurture understanding for the ones we lost too soon we will never stop rebuilding generations moving through a pulse is a heartbeat by this we are united we will we refuse to be divided in our hurting and our grieving. We will strive to understand that a pulse is a heartbeat extended in this hand. That a pulse is a heartbeat reaching through our hands. bit of a uh, comedic number here. Shift the mood. Um, oh, well, I can just set it on the ground. Okay. It's just a banjo. You can't hurt it. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Now, it's a, I should be ashamed to pick up a fiddle after Deborah Payne, but this is just a little... Uh, <laughs> Country comedy number that me and Tyler worked up from the repertoire of the Carter sisters, Mother Maybell's daughters, June and Helen and Anita. Um, June was something else. Um, but this is uh, one we like to do. One, uh, this is not how we handle all of our, or any of our relationship issues, but um, <laughs> it might be familiar to some of you all in the house. <laughs> I like this to pull off. It's a little Sam off a little bit. <laughs> it rains for thousand dollar bills, I tell you what I bet. You wouldn't have enough to buy a cup of coffee in. That ain't the way I heard it. And here's a thought for you. Yours might as well be coffee grounds for all the thinking they'll do. Well, I guess I told you all that I And Tyler, if you do, you'll learn right quick that you done bit off more than you can chew. Well, I guess I told you all that art, hope you never spent. For a moment you don't like it, you get back tonight, get outside and go jump in the well. Was 
cubes, you can take it straight from me. You wouldn't even have enough to cool a glass of tea. That ain't the way I heard it. You're just a wasting breath. If them ice cubes was ignorance, you'd done be froze to death. <laughs> So many thank yous to say. This is so lovely. The um, folks at the bar complex for hosting us. Yay. And yes, you can clap. For us. And, uh, I've even set foot in these doors, so this is great. And then um, Sam White is doing a great job running sound for us, and we so appreciate him. Of course, John Hingsbergen is here recording it, which we so appreciate as well. And of course, to Mamma herself. As my dad would say, it makes me so happy I'll have to sit on my hands to keep from waving at everybody. <laughs> He's full of stuff like that. I actually quoted him in that song about the little hot pink house trailer. He, some, some days I'll ask him, you know, how are you doing today, Dad? He'll say, son, I feel like a little dog in a big field with a brand new rubber ball. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> this is a little love song that I wrote. Sort of explains it, so. This is called Two Virginia. I can place you by the way you talk. You don't tell everything you feel I don't need to know much more
This is one of one of our um, favorite songs by our favorite artists, and you know it, so you sing right with us. It's sure good to be up here with two of my very favorite human beings in the whole world. Too. Really, the truth. Yeah, you clap.